Welcome, Brick Maniacs, to another episode of Brick Mania TV. Hi, Lando. <laughs> <laughs> Lando is on vacation this week. Yes, we actually let him outside once in a while. <laughs> get some so, fresh air, get the stink off him. So, yep, I'm, I'm Dan Siskin filling in. This is Cody, uh, designer. We'll, we're going to talk about Cody's newest kit, Cody Osell. Did the T90, Russian T90. The T90, yeah, the T90 MS Tegil. Tegil? Tegil? Is, yeah. is that how you say that? I don't know. <laughs> Some, somebody from Russia will surely correct us. Yeah, <laughs> sounds right to me anyways. Um, so the T90MS is the most modern version of the T90 tank. Um, so it's, it's, it's basically just, the T90 is just an updated version of the T72. Really? So like, <laughs> same, same with the T80. Yeah. <laughs> except yeah. except they, 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 this, this is back to the conventional diesel engine, I'm, yep. I believe. Yeah, it's a um, turbocharged diesel engine. Nice. Um, basically, the T72 chassis. Um, the turret looks completely different. That's the obvious giveaway that it's sure, a, sure. that it's a T90 because um, it has the turret bustle around the tank along with reactive armor on the front. So it's in integrated armor all around the. Yeah, but the so the bustle just serves as ammo storage, external sure. ammo storage. Um, so I think the tank can hold 40 rounds. Sure, 20, it would 22 have, inside in the loader. Yeah, yeah, auto loader, right? Yep, auto loader. So it's circular, a three-man crew. Circular auto loader. Yep, three-man crew, auto loader, and then the other 18 rounds are external. So if you want to <laughs> use those other rounds, you have to exit the tank and reload. Yeah, you have to use your imagination too, because we, we don't really. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, on this model. <laughs> yeah, on this model, there's no auto loader. <laughs> nor, nor external ammunition racks. Yeah. I guess it, the, the space is there. But. Yeah, the space is there. So, but. Um, so yeah, it's it's kind of got this weird, cool, angular um, design to it. Futuristic. Yeah, it's very futuristic looking. It's kind of cool looking. Yeah, it is. It's cool. Well, show us <laughs> some features of the model. It looks like you've got some printed elements on there. Yep, I've got some printed elements. i got a printed skirt on the side. Um, that's a rubber skirt with armor. Sure, over it. Um, over it. And... Looks like reactive armor. Reactive is that reactive armor? Yeah. On the front, yep. Uh, both sides. That's cool. The turret have that. And the um, skirt, the skirt is on both sides as well. So yep, skirts tile. on both sides. Nice printed tile. That'd be good. I could see a lot of uses for that. Yeah, I'd be making yeah. all kinds of armor. I, I, I'm, I'm going to keep that in the back of my mind <laughs> for the next time I make a tank. Next, next <laughs> MBT. Yeah, that's great. Um, yeah, so this is keeping in theme with our um, modern main battle tank. Main battle tanks. Yep. Um, so you have two opening hatches. So yep. Got two opening hatches. I have the commander's hatch, opens to the front. That way you don't get shot at and you can yeah, deflect more bolts. <laughs> classic Russian. <laughs> classic Russian movie. So you can't there. see where you're going, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got all the optics everywhere else. Yeah. This one's a bit of a bugger if you get it squished in there. Oh, it's down too far. <laughs> oh, the joy of Lego tanking. It does open. It does? <laughs> I promise. <laughs> oh, I'm teasing. There we go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> so so what there's... is that thing? Is that like some sort of laser this thing right here is that some sort of like a um i th i think i don't know exactly that's exact use but i do know that the tank can sense um if it's being targeted by laser and then it can shoot smoke dispensers so that would be some sort of part of the countermeasure system I, I believe so and then this up here is uh this is a remote operated gun system oh cool so, so. They, they could put a cord uh, machine gun in there which is a 12.7 millimeter machine gun oh. or they can have a 7.62 millimeter machine gun in there nice um so 50 caliber or or, yeah. or 30, 30, 30, roughly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> roughly. <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool. So, yeah, it's got uh, external fuel tanks in the back. That's a classic brick media thing. Yeah, like that style of <laughs> clipping it in there. Yeah, you have, you have to do that. Yeah. Does this one have its suspension? No, it doesn't have suspension, but it does roll smoothly. On the brick media? It's got a... Oh, well, yeah, it's super bottom. solid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're you're not going to be able to break this one easily. Yeah, it is a it is a tank of a tank. Yeah, it is. It's pretty strong. You can it's cool. refine it quite yeah. a bit. Would uh, this it's much smaller than the Abrams. So oh yeah, it's much smaller than the Abrams, and 
price wise too. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, I'm sure the price will be reflected. Oh, it yeah. looks really slick. I think it's yeah. a great looking design. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's got a nice camouflage scheme, that classic Russian camouflage scheme. Uh, Very futuristic. Feral does have depression and elevation. Um, nice. It's got this nice little tile on there to help cover that up. Cover the gap. That's great. And we have a tank commander, right? Yeah, we have the tank commander that Lano created. Comes, um, comes with one of these, right? Comes with one of these guys. He's got the Mini Fit Cat headgear and the headset uh, in tank green, I think. Tank green, yes, that is tank that. green. That's the color. Um, but you'll notice it's a 360 guy. He's printed on all surfaces. This is a... Yeah, super premium figure. Yeah, it's super. This is, I mean, we, we put out the little green men yeah. uh, earlier this, is that this year? Maybe it was even last year. I think it was last year. I think it was last year. October. Yeah. So almost a year ago, put out that, that they sold out pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so we put out a, you know, we brought them back. This is slightly updated uh, uniforms, more modern. Yeah. Um, and we have we have one that comes with the kit, and then one you can buy them separately too, right? Yeah. So yeah, he's also a standalone figure, so that's why you got two hatches in this tank, so yeah. you can. Uh, so one for the commander, you can actually you can get a gunner too. <laughs> yep. That's cool. Yep, they both fit in there quite nicely. I bet you these are going to go quick. <laughs> <laughs> get your that's Russian old. tankers. Yeah. So. Act and now. your tanks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll probably sell out quickly. So yeah. this the main. If you haven't, you don't know. We talked about this a little bit before we released the Abrams. We're doing a main battle tank theme. So monthly releases about this time every month we'll be doing a new main battle tank. Yeah. Started with the Abrams. Uh, tank number two is this awesome T90. Mm -hmm. And then we will be doing another one. So stay tuned. Um, we are taking suggestions. We, we have the next few already lined up, mm -hmm. but we'll take suggestions. So if you have any any ideas, of course, we're, we'd love to hear them. Um, yeah. And you know, the, the people who vote the most and vote the most often, <laughs> <laughs> vote early, vote often, um, we, you know, your voice gets heard. Yeah. So. And you guys can keep up on development of those other kits coming through by looking at our personal Instagrams. Right. Also. Right. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, I think Cody, you got your name on the next few, so check out check out Cody's yeah. Instagram. So um, we'll be we'll be seeing a lot more stuff. Cody's yeah. diving headfirst into the tank. Oh, uh, <laughs> so many tanks. <laughs> yeah, so many tanks, so little time, right? Yeah, right. Exactly. Cool. All right. Well, so Dan, uh, you're up next here. Yeah, let's switch sides. All right. <laughs> I'll play Lando for a little while. Excellent. So yeah, to All complement right. complement the uh, T90 release, we have another modern kit. This is the the little bird. Yeah. We have AH6 little bird. Do you have any any history on the little bird? Sure, the little bird. I mean, this is the little bird. I mean, it, it was the UH6 uh, or was it OH6? This is going back to Vietnam when they came out with these the Loach, I believe was it was called. They had these light observation helicopters. Um, the army used them to help, you know, spot uh, Viet Cong, North NVA um, soldiers out in the field. Basically, or even, even as bait. So yeah. the observation helicopters, they fly low, wait for somebody to shoot at them, and then the, you know, the bigger helicopters, the gunships would come out of the come out of the woodwork and pounce on the uh, sure. the enemy. Yeah. So, That's but, cool. uh, but they've been updating them. I mean, there's still a, this, these they, they started they started building these things in Vietnam, updated continually. Um, you, if you've seen the movie Black Hawk Down, read the book, you'll know that they were used in, you know, the Gulf War. They were used in Somalia, um, you know, Afghanistan, Iraq. You name it. These things are still there. Special Forces. Um, the one that we actually brought here was modeled after the Special Forces uh, AH-1, um, which is basically an attack helicopter, two two seater. You got two pilots. So the kit itself comes with two pilots. Kit itself. The kit. It has a brick arms brick arms combat vest on them. Otherwise, we're all stock Lego. Um, it's armed with a Brick Arms uh, minigun. Let's see if I can bring this up here. Brick Arms minigun on each wing. Um, we have little rocket pods. So the little six, six tube rocket pods. So this is all included in the base model? This is the base model. And you get a sticker sheet. The sticker has a control panel, which you can't see on the camera. Um, the U.S. Army stickers for the tail boom, which is, um, they're, they're kind of ghosted on there. And of course, the printed uh, rocket cylinders, yeah, uh, cool. and you get two custom printed figures. Let me show you the figure real quick, because Lando, it's not just a plain figure. It looks fairly plain from the uh, from the. Let me put the head back. On, it looks kind of funny without it. <laughs> <laughs> um, he is wearing a combat vest, but underneath it, he has this sort of combat shirt outfit. It's a flight suit slash combat outfit, uh, mesh shirt over the top. Uh, it's printed on both sides, front and back. So it's kind of a step up. We did this once before last year. It was the last year, maybe it was the year before we released the, yeah. a, a little bird. It's been a couple of years. Yeah, and uh, they just came with plain guys, so we thought we'd up the game a little bit, do some yeah. printing. Um, so that's all included in the base model. So um, two pilots, 
All the armaments, right. miniguns included too. Miniguns, you get the miniguns. Yep. And, and a printed, bucks. what's that printed on the front there? On the front? Underneath on the chin. That is actually a sticker. Oh, really? Yeah, it doesn't look like a sticker, does Couldn't it? Couldn't even tell. It's a, oh, oh, here, that's a sticker. Oh, yeah. Right, oh, you do get the, yeah, it's the FLIR, the forward-looking infrared uh, sensor. Um, sure. You can, you can rotate it around and suppose it. And, you know, so that's new, that's a new update. Right, that was added. The there, was, there was a little sensor on originally, um, but we wanted to, well, I wanted, took the opportunity to say, hey, we can print now. We yeah. couldn't do that before. We used to have to farm everything out to print. It yeah. costs much more. Now we, we can do it in-house. Mm -hmm. So our, our team printed the FLIR on that little Technic ball. It's great. Yeah, it looks perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great use of that piece. Yeah, so I've, I've been wanting to do that for a while. Um, there, you know, This is basically a re-release of an older kit, but we get the opportunity when we re-release stuff to, to do some updating. It's it's it's. It's fun to revisit them. Oh, definitely. Um, and there's there was a problem before. If you push down a little bit too hard on these things, they would snap off. <laughs> I kind of fixed that on on this model. A little stronger. Yeah. So cool. got a lot of a lot of customization on that, and you can also customize it more with. Right. There an is an add-on pack. We do have the MH six add-on pack. So MH is a multi-purpose helicopter, um, and we have an add-on pack that you. So you have your. Your Night Stalkers will come in and bring in your Delta Force. So we call it the, the Delta Force add-on pack. Okay. Delta Force being the Army's top tier of special forces. Um, you know, it's basically their operators, it'd be called. You get the little trays that the guys sit on. There's a bar that they can tie into. It goes over the top. You can see it on the, on the model here. Sure. So the, the Delta Force upgrade comes with the four guys. They're custom printed just like the pilot, uh, but they all have unique weapons. Um, and they have these cool, um, let's see, they're custom printed. They have uh, a balaclava face. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to escape. <laughs> Words escape. So instead of a stock Lego face like the pilots have, they have balaclavas. Oh, sure. Um, and then they have these cool, uh, here, let me pull, the, pull that off. You can see. They have a headset, balaclava, and then the helmet and night vision goggles from uh, Minifig Cat. Cool. And of course, weapons, each one with a unique weapon from uh, and, and combat vest from uh, Brick Arms. Sure. That's a so. nice combination of some <laughs> other non-Lego elements there. Sure, sure, yeah. We're, we're really liking the Minivig Cat stuff. It's yeah. it's cool. I mean, Brick Arms is, is, is always our go-to go -to company for weapons and accessories, but there's some other companies out there, um, Mini Minifig Cat being one that, that we are starting to utilize a little bit more, get a little variety in our kits. And I guess if, if people want, we can start bringing them, um, making them available for you to order just just the parts. Yeah. So if enough people say they hey we'll, we'll support that, um, we'll see if we can get Minifig Cat to make an agreement and get some of those in here in bulk. Yeah, yeah. So let us know what you guys think about um, our upgrades and our updating of Minifigs and sure. See what we can make available. You got you got two designers right here, so we're we're always looking for feedback and, and yeah. anything you want to suggest, we're 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 going to listen to it. Yeah, yeah. We're always looking to improve yeah. everything. So. Yep. Very cool, Dan. Yeah. That's the episode then. <laughs> how, how would we say it? Uh, well, we got to sure make to sure to like and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. And Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Right. Um, yeah. Right. Yeah, but when you subscribe to the YouTube page, don't forget to ring that bell so you can actually get the notifications when a new episode comes out. Sure. So. Ding. All right, well, thank you again for <laughs> watching another episode of Brickmania TV. See you next time.